Hello and welcome. You're watching News 9 Live. What is it to be a successful and effective woman politician in a country where women have to still fight for legitimate space? What must it feel like to create a benchmark when it comes to creating a robust healthcare system? In her memoirs titled My Life as a Comrade, K.K. Shalija, former Minister for Health, Social Justice, Women and Child Development of Kerala, popularly of course known as Shalija Teacher, reveals hitherto unknown aspects of her life as a chai child, as a teacher and finally as a health minister who dealt with two terrifying epidemics. The book is co-authored by Manju Rajan, who is a writer, editor and arts manager and presently the editor-in-chief of beautifulhomes.com, India's largest design and deco content platform. I spoke to KK Shailaja a little while ago. Welcome to the show. Welcome to News 9 Live. We are so happy, KK Shailaja ji, for you to have joined this. Many congratulations on the book. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much. It's a lovely cover also. And of course, the book is also very, very good. You know, uh, very well written, I must say, the book. You know, in the book, you start with history. You speak about post-independent India. You say that, you know, the English, when they were ruling the Malabar, which is the region which impacted you greatly, you said that they drew up new land laws without understanding, rather misreading, the local customs. Now, land laws are very important, not only ideologically for you, but for the progress of any state. Can you speak about what is that that they did which impacted the Malabar region to such an extent? Yes, sir. During the British invasion, you all know that the feudal culture and feudal system was here in India. Right. The provincial kings and landlords, etc. Hmm. Previously, the provincial kings and landlords are poor to the poor people, but uh, uh, they give the poor people some rights, you know, uh, because they want the eatables and also the other uh, objects that, that the poor people are making that thing. And that much extent they were related to this uh, poor one, you know. But when the British came, their only aim was the exploitation, you know, making profit mm -hmm. and exploiting the old property of our country, you know. And mm. uh, they have the right Rightvari Act and Malabar Settlement Act, etc. And mm. they utilized these landlords for the exploitation. To right. go collecting money or collecting the uh, these food drains, uh, everything from the poor people. They have no land rights at that time. The right. lands were considered as the, the ownership is considered it was the, under the landlords, Jenmis. Mm. They often said that God gave this uh, opportunity or these rights to them. Uh, God himself gave, gave the opportunity to them or the right to them. And the poor people believed that, that God gave the land to them. You know, right. the Chadur Varnya, etc. They wrote, Brahmana uh, Mukhamasi, Bahu Rajanakruda, Uru Tadeshe, Deshe, Patyam, Sutra Jaijal. Means Brahmins are originated from the head of the God and they That's right. can yes. own this, these things, etc. So yeah. the poor suffered a lot. So they were suffering. At the same time, the Britishers give the legal right for the exploitation to the landlords. Hmm. And um, they uh, exploited or they collected all the food grains they prepared or they product, uh, produced in the uh, the lands and even in the uh, uh, dried uh, uh, places uh, like right. like this uh, land uh, dry lands and wetland mm. they produce this rice and uh, other uh, pulses right. etc all these were collected uh, in the name of taxes or levies uh, they right. collect to the granaries of the landlords and from the granaries Britishers were buying these things in uh, in some places. And the landlords right. get prices for these yeah. things. But the poor people who were the actual owners or who produced it, suffering all this heat and rain, they are not getting even sufficient eating. Or, Absolutely. Uh, to, yes, that, yes. Is, that was the condition at that time. Yes, and you know, you say that how that entire region, Malabar region, actually made the person that you are, you know, the, the person that you became. 
I also want to bring focus. You write a lot about your life as you know, as a child, very tough childhood, but a happy childhood. I mean, I really enjoyed reading about your mother, your aunt, and your grandmother. Very, very empowered. But what I made me smile, you know, uh, Shalaja teacher, is that when you went and had a haircut like Jayanita, you know. that episode because you still a child right i mean talk a little about it because to see someone like you who as a child had a haircut like jailalita why don't you speak a little about that <laughs> yes that was one of the job madam actually huh. my one of my aunt was married hmm. to tamil nadu you know huh. uh, huh. a man who is working there hmm. and she was very fond of these things she yeah. is, uh, she went to tamil nadu chennai uh, from this uh, poor village you know okay. this kind of fashion that was not familiar <laughs> but when she lived there in tamil nadu huh. uh, she was uh, familiar with this actress as in film etc always mm. we know that chennai was the film world at that time itself yes. you know and yes. uh, the baby jayalalitha and other actors and huh. pr and uh, she is very interested in this thing and she, when she came back she want to make me a little jayalalitha but i cannot bear that thing you know and all my colleagues my uh, students ridiculed me and uh, they laughed at me and uh, i was crying <laughs> all the time uh, to get my uh, hair long yes you know but very interesting that what you know makes childhood so so interesting now you are growing up you know and shalaja teacher one thing is about your shyness you are a very retiring person you were you know you were so scared of speaking in public then you get married then you become a teacher then you start party work what gave you the strength shalaja teacher to cope with all of this what was that thing which made you just move forward i think the ideology gave me the strength and okay. also the existing system the worries mm-hmm. of the people mm-hmm. and the difficulties uh, and i am witnessing that thing you know the difficulties of the poor women and the worries of the poor society um, we all are witnessing it and i have the ideology with me the left ideology from the early childhood days itself and when i grow up i become firm to it and i believe that socialism means the equal opportunity to everyone every person had should have the right they should uh, they, they they should stand with their, their head above uh, they are not going uh, to anybody you know that yeah. can give me strength and my grandma's uh, nature and my comrades uh, uh, friendships and uh, our study classes and the duty we have to perform in party committee and mm. how to take a problem and solve it that practical work gave me some strength and also your husband was super cooperative i read about it you know that tali with b you know you said that you know uh, <laughs> and also he encouraged you he said go out shailaja go and work don't you think yes. i know that he was also a comrade but the point is there was no male female differentiation in your home itself isn't that right but yes there are some you? differentiations because hmm. my my mother in law she is not going outside you know mm-hmm. uh, full time he is she is working for the home and the family yeah. you know yes early morning she rises and mm. went to the paddy field and do mm. some work there and she do all mm. the household duties and at night time she becomes so tired that was the condition of the woman at that time you know mm. but she was also very proud of the party because her father uh, had to undergo the Uh, imprisonment uh, uh, during the right. uh, time yes. of uh, the freedom fighters time at that yeah. time and uh, she she when she when he went outside the jail uh, he got a very good garland and uh, appreciation from the society that inspired her also oh, my father was also a freedom fighter and my father was also a communist right. and he also uh, st- uh, stayed in jail he is thinking mm-hmm. like that that yeah. enthusiasm that uh, belief that made her that not oppose my uh, political work and she in her heart uh, one time one side she thought that uh, my uh, uh, daughter in law she is going outside and getting no help from her to be but on the other side he is th- she is thinking that like my father and my like my son 
she is also working for the society i should absolutely That you know let yeah that now let's turn our attention to nipa you know when that happened no one had a clue you know everyone was just wondering they were puzzled but you know when you read that chapter in your book you know my life as a comrade your memoirs the one thing the way you coordinated with dr arun the way you you know went through everything one thing which really stands out ma'am is the speed i think the kind of decisions you took i mean after speaking immediately putting them into action do you think in a crisis situation speed is very important yes madam speed and the right decision at right time at that mm. time i was not thinking that the decision made by us me and my mm. colleagues was fully true or right mm. i am not thinking like that but Hmm. we thought about what is the most uh, important decision right decision uh, that hmm. only we can th- uh, thought at that time and when we heard about this nipa it is a high mortality its mortality rate is too high and spreading yes. type what hmm. the decision should be uh, hmm. take at that time that lead that we should have to contain this thing not going to other person from a person that is the containment method so we close hmm. that village at this at uh, that time so yes. many people criticize us that why are so, you closing the village hmm. why are you taking the affected people to the hospital or the yeah. uh, uh, people in the family you are closing the village itself that is not right but hmm. we are scientific at that time um, i believe in science and our doctors believe in science we said no we cannot send the people outside we are closing this area but our chief minister said everything should prover should be provided to them Uh, okay. the rice and the other thing any things the necessities uh, we should fulfill at that time and that decision become a very great decision at that time we did it thought it was a great decision uh, right. it was the necessity at that time madam uh, nothing right. else we can do at that time but later when the baltimore virology institute they invite uh, mm. honorable chief minister and me in usa mm. and we went there Uh, the famous scientists like robert gallo and others were assembled there and uh, robert gallo asked us to describe the uh, the situation how you contain this virus and chief minister asked me our health minister will explain it and i explained what we actually did at that time i was not a scholar and uh, i didn't participate in this kind of discussion previously eminent right. scientists are sitting there some are joining mm. in video call mm. also but yeah. i have to explain because i am the person uh leading the health department and i explained what and what we did at that time and right. they said fantastic we appreciate you because you contained the deadly virus within a short span of time that's yeah right. that time only i am knowing that we did a great job you know uh, when we are working for that we were doing the uh, essential things nothing else we can do at that time yes and also i think uh, in a way it also prepared you to face covid i mean then covid happens and do you think that nipa also prepared you so that you know when the first attack happened and the entire world shut down when you think back what was that one thing because there was coordination there was speed you know you were taking lessons from what happened during nipa all that was there but when you look back challenge teacher what is that one thing that you did because you know you put kerala on the world map i mean you became an example for the world yes madam at that time we put our own strategy for this thing you know hmm. at that hmm. time who is saying test 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 nothing else yes and all the other states were reciting that slogan Mm. Uh, but uh, the test kits are very uh, rare at that time we are getting mm. a little quantity of test mm. kits you know rt pcr kits and 